Hello everyone and welcome to Simply Code's YouTube channel. Kaushal this side and I hope you guys are doing well. Today, we'll take you through CSS rounded corners. In this video tutorial, we'll understand how we can use CSS to create rounded corners on HTML elements. But before we begin, let me tell you guys that we have regular updates on multiple programming videos. So if you are a programmer and if you want to learn something new, then consider getting subscribed to our YouTube channel and press that bell icon to never miss any updates from Simply Code. So without any further delay, let's move on to our topic for the day, which is CSS rounded corners. Now we know that CSS is used to style a web page. By styling, we can say we mean layout and we mean setting the layout of any page. And apart from that, we can also style certain HTML elements with the help of CSS in different ways. So rounded corners is exactly the same. What happens is when we use the rounded corners, we create rounded corners for specific HTML elements. For example, let's suppose we have a square and we want to make a circle out of it. So how we can use CSS rounded corners? So there's a property which is the border radius property. Or we can say the border radius property is used to make rounded corners to any HTML element. Let me give you a simple example. So what we'll do is we'll write over here div class is let's say c1 and we are going to close this div tag now we are going to move to a css part so we'll use the style tag for it so here we have written style and just a second so what we'll do is we'll write over here we are going to access this class so we'll write here dot c1 we are accessing this class and now we are going to create a square first so let's say we have the width of this uh, div tag or box as 300 pixels and then we'll use the height property height let's say we are going to use 300 pixels again fine so you can see when we saved this program we are not able to see the output yet so what we'll do is we'll write over here border we are going to set the border as one pixel solid in nature and let's say black in color fine so here you can see the box now fine so if you guys are not able to see it let me just increase the border size so we are using five pixels here so now i guess you are able to see the box now what we are going to do is we are going to make the corners of this square rounded so corners we mean these corners this is top right bottom right bottom left and top left so we have four corners in a square now what we'll do simply is we'll write over here border radius and we are going to set it as 50 pixels let's say save it and here you can see so the corners are now 50 pixels so the radius of this these corners of a box is 50 pixels now but if i'll write over here 50 percent let's see if it works or not save it and here you can see we have a complete circle because 50 percent is applied to every corner of our square fine so in CSS, we can apply rounded corners to elements such as boxes or buttons using the border radius property. This property sets the radius of the elements corners by defining the curvature of the corner as a length value, either in pixels, m's or percentage. So we have been through CSS units, right? So you can also set different radius values for different corners of an element using the four different properties. So we have border top left radius, then we have border top right radius, then we have border bottom right radius and border bottom left radius. So these are the four corners we can use. So if we are not writing over here border radius and just save it. So here you can see we have a square now. Now what we are going to do is we are going to use specific corner properties. So what we'll do is we'll write over here border top left radius. So this is the property. Now it's a little hard to remember property, I guess. So, but just remember one thing that we can use border top. Then we have to identify which corner we are using. So here we are using the border top left. So you have to remember which corner you are using. In this case, we are using the top left corner. That's why we have used the border top left radius. Now save this program. And here you can see a minute difference in the top left corner of a square. Fine. If I write here 50 pixels, save it here. Now you can see there's a big difference now. Similarly, we can use four different properties, right? So if I write here border and then if I write here, let's say bottom 
right radius now we are using this corner fine so what i'll do is i'll write 50 pixels over here again and here you can see now it's a different shape right this shape looks better than a square shape similarly we can use border top right radius and border bottom left radius for other two corners so it totally depends on us which corner we are using apart from that we can use all the four corners at single go so what happens is we have a shorthand property for this so if i just remove this part save it here you can see we have a square now if we are using this border radius property like this if i'm writing here border radius and i'm writing here 15 pixels and 50 pixel let's use 30 pixels and then 15 pixels again and then 30 pixels again so here we have covered all the four corners this is a shorthand property we don't need to remember every like every single property for every single corner fine now the first value applies to the top left corner the second value applies to the top right corner third value applies to the bottom right corner and fourth value applies to the bottom left corner so it goes clockwise starting from top left then it goes clockwise to top right then it goes it goes clockwise to bottom right and then it comes clockwise back to bottom left now save it and here you can see so i guess it's not clearly visible this corner is 15 pixels these two corners the top left and bottom right and these two corners are 30 pixels just write here 50 and you guys will be able to differentiate so save it now you can see these are 15 pixels and these two are 50 pixels now instead of four if we are using here three properties then the first value will apply to the top left corner then the second value will apply to the top right and bottom left corner fine remember this 15 pixels 50 pixels and 15 pixels fine or we can say let's use 30 pixels fine save it and here you can see first value applies to the top left which is 15 pixels second value applies to the top right and bottom left so these two corners which are in diagonal position to each other the second property is applied to them and the third value is applied to the bottom right corner fine similarly we can use two values as well the first value applies to the top left and bottom right and the second value will apply to the top right and bottom left save it and here you can see now these two corners look exactly the same and these two corners look exactly the same fine similarly we can use the uh, a single value which will be applied to all the corners so this is how we can use the css rounded corner property now instead of this we can also use background color here as well so if i write here background color and if i use any color let's say beach save it so here you can see the color changing so this looks better than a normal square box right let me just show it to you again if i save it like this so this looks fine right but this looks better this one looks much better than the square one so this is how we can use the css rounded corner properties to create different types of shapes on a web page and this property is quite useful we can also use this property with images as well if i just show you with an example so if i write here img src i have an images folder present okay then inside this i'll take any one random image so just save it and here you can see we have an image present but the size of this image is quite large so let me just uh, write here img save it and here you can see let me just remove this border radius property and so here you can see we have an image which is 300 pixels in width 300 pixels in height and it has a border of 5 pixel which is solid in nature and black in color then we have just removed this background color from here as well and you will see there is no difference so this image looks fine right now what we'll do is we'll use the border radius property we are going to give it four values or we can say just three values fine so we'll use 20 pixels for top left and bottom right and we'll use 50 pixels for top right and bottom left save it so here you can see now this image looks much better right similarly we can also use it with background color or images this property we can use anywhere just 
and we can also make a circle here fine so let's write over here 50 percent and we'll see if it looks good or not 50 percent mean 50 percent of this total square area fine so 50 percent 50 percent to all the sides save it and here you can see a circle with the same image now this looks better right so this is how we can use the css rounded corners properties or we can say the css border radius property to make our web page look more interactive with better shapes and good looking shapes right so i hope you guys must have got a good idea about the css border radius property and you know how to create rounded corners now right so that's all for this video guys i hope you guys got this just give it a try by yourself and let us know in the comment section if you face any sort of difficulties so thank you so much for being here guys we'll see you in some other video until then keep coding and stay tuned to simply code